race is slowed, and it'll be a while before we get started again. All four miles here at Road America are under the yellow flag from a horrible accident suffered by Davy Jones. The good news is Jones walked away from the car uninjured. One of the most spectacular and frightening, for that matter, IMSA crashes that we have ever seen in all of the racing coverage we have done. And these drivers have got to be concerned anytime they pass the scene of this accident about picking up debris, maybe puncturing a tire. That is what's left of about a three, four hundred thousand dollar race car on the hook. And here is Cyril Vandermeerva, who qualified on the pole, was involved in that accident. The Corvette car that he drives is in the pits. Cyril antsy to try to get back into this race, but that may take some doing. They really impacted Davy Jones. Poor Cyril, he had no place to go. Here is Willie T. Ribs. The GTO leader is apparently out of the race. Some mechanical problems have set in on the number 77 Camaro. Ribs, who won the last race on the circuit at Sears Point, is out of the race. Brock is with Davy Jones. Well, I'm with Davy Jones. It was in that particularly hairy uh, crash down there in 11A. Davy, first of all, are you okay? I'm fine, Brock. I'm just uh, very disappointed because uh, the car, the BMW, was working so well. And uh, John, Andretti, and myself were driving very well all weekend, and the team has just been doing a brilliant job. And, and uh, it's, I really felt that we had a good shot here. Exactly how did it take place? Well, I was running second, uh, very close behind Jeff Bradman in the Nissan. And uh, going through the kink, uh, I, was, I was tucked in very close behind him, and, and suddenly I had to lift to, to avoid from, from tapping him in the rear. And when I was accelerating, coming out of the corner, very close behind him, I just found myself in the grass on the outside of the circuit. And I, I found there, when I was running very close behind, it's difficult to see. And uh, the more that I think of it now, uh, with the end plates on the Nissan, I think it's very difficult to see the exit of the track when you're, when you're in such close racing competition. And uh, it's just, it's a shame. Uh, but uh, I'm, uh, just, I'm just happy I'm okay and, and that uh, John Watts is still up there running strong. And you can see here that the tub of that automobile maintained its integrity. Most of the debris is very lightweight fiberglass. The rear and forward section of the automobile just exploded on impact. And Cyril Vandenberger, his problems began right there. More problems here for the Ford Pro team. That's Tom Gloy. Remember, he was as high as fifth spot in that automobile. A quick stop. And apparently, as you said, Steve, that may have been debris underneath that race car. As he heads down, uh-oh, the IMSA officials have stopped him at the head of pit lane. They're going to make him wait until the field comes by. That is another look at that Corvette of uh, Cyril Vandemer. And it looks to me like they are in for a while. That car, remember, glanced off Davy Jones' BMW at maybe 140 miles an hour and took the front of the shot right in the right front. Steve is in that pit. How hard was the impact between the BMW and the Corvette? Take a look at the right front wheel off of Cyril van der Merva's car. Just absolutely incredible. This is very high strength aluminum. These wheels are tested to very rigid specifications and it just took it and bent it as if it was made out of cotton candy. Unbelievable. And now we understand why it's going to take so long to get that car back into the pits. This impact was transmitted through the entire front suspension and they've got some real problems. Well, that will be a while before he is back in the race, as you say, Steve. As we watch the field under 